You heard the president weigh in at the top of the program. Now he's tweeting, and I'm quoting now, anything the Russians did concerning the 2016 election was done while Obama was president. He was told about it and did nothing. Most importantly, the vote was not affected. Is that the most important thing? I guess so. Earlier, he tweeted, I had the right to end the whole witch hunt if I wanted. I could have fired everyone, including Mueller, if I wanted. I chose not to. Joining us now is Deputy White House Press Secretary Hogan Gidley. Hogan, thanks for uh, coming in. I, I think it's important to reiterate what I did at the top and, and since the beginning of this, that it's good for the country that the president and, and the people in the campaign were found to not be in a criminal conspiracy with Russia. That being said, why is the president and, and, and his allies saying that he was exonerated of obstruction, which is literally the opposite of what Robert Mueller decided? Well, first of all, I do appreciate you starting that way because I think it's pretty obvious that so many in the media, so many on the left were actually upset at the fact that a man they had accused of treason for the better part of two years was innocent of that charge. Oh, no, one so seen, no, no reporter at CNN ever accused the president of, of treason. I mean, there might have been pundits and, and analysts. Yeah, who, who, pundits and Democrats right. did that, absolutely. But the fact is, we've seen 2,800 subpoenas, 500 witnesses, 500 warrants, 40 FBI agents, 19 attorneys, and a partridge in a pear tree, all to find out there is no collusion, there is no obstruction, and it's a complete wait, wait, and total but the, exoneration. But saying there's no because, obstruction, that's not true. I mean, say, saying that is not what Robert, Robert Mueller said. He said, I Listen. can't exonerate the president on this. And he pointed out some very detailed examples. Right, and prosecutors don't um, exonerate. Prosecutors prosecute if they have right. the evidence to do but so. But they don't he prosecute didn't. the president Otherwise, of the United States. Otherwise, we'd be talking about a president right. who's under indictment right, right now, right. not to mention his family. They Actually, were not. Actually, that's not true. That's not true. The Attorney General of the, Attorney General of the United States uh, has said, and said this in the memo in which he sent, uh, you know, uninvited to, uh, to folks in the White House that the sitting president can't be indicted. Robert Mueller accepted that. So the idea that, well, if there was things to indict, they would have indicted him. He, he can't be indicted. He, uh, th while that is what the attorney general believes, let's also be clear that Robert Mueller said that they didn't use that into consideration. That's not when true. When they decided, he said that in the report that he didn't use that. No, when actually, he, made the he, decision said, he said not only did they... In fact, I think the important part is here, and this is something that I think your guests would appreciate. I'm reading from the report now. The evidence we obtained did not establish that the president was involved in any underlying crime related to Russian uh, election interference. Right. It can't yeah. be any clearer than that. If he had the right. goods on him, he would have used it. He yeah, didn't. Yeah, but that's not, actually, that's not the case, because time and time again in this report, he is saying it's essentially uh, Congress, which has the constitutional role here to play, and he is offering up evidence for Congress to fulfill constitutional obligations if that is how they see it. And in fact, in the report, he does say that he accepts the OLC uh, finding from the Department of Justice that a sitting president can't be indicted. Furthermore, he goes on to say that uh, it would be unfair to charge the president given the fact that the Department of Justice would not actually indict a sitting president. So to actually <clears throat> bring charges against him would be unfair to the president uh, because the president wouldn't be able to have his day in court. It's interesting. We're talking about what's unfair to the president after being accused of treason for two years. But I well, digress. You can, okay, you can I ignore digress. what I just said. Robert Mueller, yeah. the regs of the of the special counsel are to actually issue a, a ruling. They did not. Right. They chose okay. not to do but that. But you're, ignore, you're was ignoring. It was laden. Okay. It was laden right. with some political statements, you said, and you that's said, fine. You said let's his, go to rule, the his belief. Let's go to the impeachment point because you brought it up. Uh, Speaker Pelosi said it's not worthwhile, quote unquote, at this time. And Adam Schiff on this very network, who's become quite a star over here on Wolf Blitzer earlier today, said he was not inclined to impeach either because of, quote unquote, oh, we needed overwhelming and demonstrable evidence. Okay. He's been on your air multiple times right. saying he I, I has just, that I just evidence. wish you would acknowledge. So where, so right, where you, is the right. evidence if he has it? I just it? wish he you wouldn't make a false it. statement. He did Robert that Mueller. And I so guess... the president is clean and he's right. exonerated. I, I don't like talking over because it's rude to the audience, but and I want to be respectful. But, it, you know, you stated that the OLC finding had nothing to do with what Mueller uh, ended up doing and how he acted. That's just simply not true. And it says so in the report. And it's a very detailed explanation of why he did that. I, I'm wondering what you make now. We now know that Sarah Sanders uh, admitted under oath that uh, she made up <clears throat> uh, statements about why Comey was fired. Uh, not only that, uh, the press office at the White House tried to get Rod Rosenstein to say something which wasn't true, that he is the one responsible. It was his idea about getting rid of Comey. 
First of all, uh, I've, I worked for Mike Huckabee when he was governor of the state of Arkansas. I've known Sarah Sanders since she was 19 years old. She okay. can well defend herself. So I'm not well, here to speak on behalf well, of Sarah Sanders. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not asking you to speak, speak on behalf president. of her, but, but, I'm gonna say, but well, is let Sarah me just Sanders going to acknowledge it's that she lies to, to the American people? It's an honor to work for and an honor to work okay. for this president. And Sarah's going to defend herself later on tonight on another network. And the fact is, what she was right. talking about being upset about is uh, the phrase she used, countless. She was... Uh, she has been clearly contacted by FBI agents. I've seen the really? texts. Well, I've seen the e okay. absolutely. We, we don't I've know seen that. the texts. Well, she and I've said seen that's not what she said under oath. People saying she said nope, it was complete. Not, it it she, wasn't based on anything. There was no she, basis for that what was, she said. That was what the conclusion was from the report, not what she said. What she was talking about that were in quotes was the word "countless," and the slip of the tongue was to use the phrase "countless." She will exonerate herself okay. later and, this and, afternoon and when, your she has, office, later right. when she has that conversation. And, and your office, and I, this was before you were there, so I'm, I'm not pointing this at you, but your office, according to Robert Mueller, sworn testimony, tried to get Rod Rosenstein to lie. What's up with again, that? Again, again. This is so great that we're going to parse every word of this for the next month No, I'm not uh, parsing words. It's end. a pretty bald-faced lie. Ab it's, absolutely. And we just learned it. But here, here's the thing. If the president had done something wrong, he would be indicted right okay. now. The president wanted to ask so Rod hasn't Rosenstein been indicted. to lie. He's not the going to be indicted. Okay. We've been dealing with this now for two and a half you, you, years. I know you want to ignore you the fact that understand. the guy you're working for lies. I know like, you want, like, look, I know so many reporters wanted the outcome to be the case that Donald I, Trump I didn't had done want something any, illegal. I'm very happy as an American that he That's why we're sitting here tonight. Right. I'm, I'm happy glad as an American most Americans that the, should that the president of the United States that their did not collude did not with Russia. Collude with I am Russia. happy. We are Absolutely. literally saying the same and thing, talking over each other. I'm glad right. you are. Okay. Um, I just, I, I, I'm just surprised because this is the first time we've learned about it that the president of the United States actually asked Rod Rosenstein to hold a press conference and lie, and the White House press office also was pushing that, and Reince Priebus was screaming at some flack over the Department of Justice. Uh, to get Rod Rosenstein out in yeah. front of a camera so the guy could lie. I mean, I, that's that's normal behavior? Uh, no, look, th th that's absolutely No, ridiculous. it's not. Listen, I agree. No, I, I, I understand where you're trying to go with this, but the fact I'm is what everyone, ha what Democrats an, have wanted for so long. Where I'm trying to go so is long, to get an actual What Democrats have wanted you. for so long is for Democrats the president to be wanted. guilty of dealing. You won't answer that. You, you won't acknowledge the president lied about this. It's in the report. Uh, I get it. Uh, but, look. Uh, I appreciate look, you coming it, out. You're in a difficult spot. It's spell. not. Look, if they had anything on him, he'd be indicted today. He wasn't okay. because okay. they don't have the evidence. Did the president lie? They have to put up or shut up here, Anderson. They Did don't the president have lie? It. Did the president I'm not lie? aware of. I'm not. No, I'm not aware of him lying. He's, he hasn't lied to me. He's, he's not, absolutely. Wait, wait, he's absolutely wait, wait, coming forth on all the promises the he put forth to the American. He's absolutely coming forth and, and uh, accomplishing all the promises he did. He said he'd do for the American okay. people, whether it's building right. a wall or defeating ISIS. I absolutely. Listen, I, I if remember I had a boss time lied when the president told us all to that lied. you could I keep just, your health care, you could keep right, your doctor, you could keep your plan. So don't give that to me. The fact is, this has been well litigated at this point. Two years, thirty-five million dollars, one point four million pieces of paper. I feel bad that and you're scared nothing. to say that your boss lied. It just there's seems, nothing. I just said I don't he know didn't. why. I, there I would is, not work in that situation. But that, anyway, Hogan, I appreciate your your you work. You, you're full of you're full. Of, you have a panel almost every night with people who lie. So I don't know how that's any different than what I'm talking about. Well, uh, that's unfortunate that you would think that. But uh, anyway, thank you very it. much for being here. Uh, well, All right, thanks. Yeah. Uh, the list. Of, well, I won't go on. Back with the gang. <laughs> joining us, senior, uh, senior senior political analyst Dave Gergen as well. Uh, Jeff, I mean, again, the argument that there was there that Mueller was not taking into account any guidelines, was not operating under specific guidelines and acknowledging those guidelines is simply not true. Well, I mean, it, it, it's like criticizing someone <clears throat> for not running the speed of sound. It's like they can't. And the idea that Mueller should be, you know, that, that it is somehow proof of innocence that Mueller didn't indict <clears throat> Trump is that Mueller couldn't indict Trump. And says so. Repeatedly. And, and and everyone knew he couldn't yeah. because he's an employee of the Department of Justice and the Department of Justice has this policy. But, but what's also particularly interesting about that is for all the president's talk that Mueller was out to get him and that this was a witch hunt, Mueller is very clearly saying, Pearson, it would be unfair right. to yeah. to go ahead and indict but him it, because he it won't be brought to court exactly. and he can't defend yeah, him. Yeah, I mean, this is just crazy making. This is like saying Nixon didn't do anything because he didn't get indicted. Yeah, but guys, I mean, that, we know that entire... that's not this, the case. We know that Nixon did do something bad and that it, and it, and it was sent over to Congress to deal with it. So why, why are people 
saying this when you know that it's not true. Do you remember the entire news cycle of the day when the president's going to be indicted? That was coming out. There was a whole day. I never yeah. said Buzzfeed. that. Buzzfeed. Oh, the Buzzfeed story. I, came out. Well, that was yeah. no, but it ran United, the whole day in, in, on CNN. It, it, ran, I, it ran. It ran the whole day. I in, watched it. Well, let me, let me just right? say. I watched it. So well, the, Mueller, the notion that the president could be indicted wasn't so far fetched. That, I never thought. Every, well, I'm just telling you. Go back and play. But, but, but Robert very... Mueller always was operating under this but, belief. Uh, but I'm saying but that the notion that everyone in the world right. believed it wasn't crazy at one point. Right. But what everybody in the world ago. thinks doesn't matter to Robert Mueller. He's this, I, this I is what he's doing. Mueller told the president's lawyers, according to our reporting, early mm -hmm. on, pretty early on, that he did not intend right. to yeah, indict the president. Period. That's right. And, and, and the president's lawyers were very happy with that. And in the report, he also says, look, this is what the Office of Legal Counsel said. And we also recognize that if we did a federal criminal accusation against a sitting president, it would be difficult for him to govern, right. period. So that, but, but it's not impossible. And what we did was pursue this so that sometime in the future, you would have this voluminous record if anybody else decides to prosecute.